Hello tankers and happy new year. New year of course if you didn't come and watch my Twitch stream, which was pretty awesome. I had really good fun, did a few engineering levels. And for once, this video starts off with me in the garage, which is pretty unusual, but um, this is going to be an update video more so than um, a video about the tanks. I'm going to go into a bit of how I decide where I'm going to go in tanks, a bit of how I decide the positions that I'm going to do, but mostly this video is going to be about me talking about the channel. And just to begin with, this is my S35CA. It is a French tier 5 tank destroyer. I have the 17 pounder gun on it because it is the single most accurate gun on this tank. It has a pretty high rate of fire, good penetration, acceptable damage for the rate of fire, as I said good aiming and a good aiming time. So I'm going to be taking this out into battle and we'll see how things go from there. And welcome back. And here I am, it's a defensive map on Sand River in the Tier 5 S35 CA. And yes, it seems like it's going to be a pretty standard matchmaking. We have one Tier 3 the team, one Tier 4 on their team, two on ours, but everyone else is Tier 5, so I'm going to play this about as passively as is humanly possible. Tank destroyers, especially the S35CA, live and die by their camouflage and their ability to kill whilst hidden. So that's exactly how I'm going to play this game. I'm going over to the two line, I'm going to get up onto the ridge line, and I'm going to shoot at anything that dares move forwards. Of course, we are leaving the other flank slightly open, but from this position I will be able to get shots down over onto the other flank, so this is going to be quite a strong position. Moving away from the game slightly, I'll just continue to play. Um, I want to talk a bit about how I want the channel to progress, and I don't feel like so far I've been able to do what I want to do with the support of the subscriber base. And what I really, really want to do is talk a little bit more about the history of tanks. I want to go into why tanks are what they are in the game and just basically go over the history of them why they were conceived what went well with them what went badly with them you know everything about them i'd really like to do that because i truly believe that in order to be good at world of tanks you have to be knowledgeable in what the tank was designed to do i don't believe you can do well in a tank if you don't know what its purpose is and what it was designed to do. All too often I hear players say they detest tank destroyers or they detest, I don't know, a, a certain tank, the Carnarvon for example, or the Churchills or something. And if they knew what the tank was for, they wouldn't have the problems they're currently having with them. Because they wouldn't be using them in the way that they do. And I really want to get the message of what the real world tanks were for. God knows what that grilly thought he was doing. I really want to get that message out there, and I want to do that with this channel. So, that's one thing I'd really like to start doing. Another thing I'd quite like to start doing is other games. Now, I did do a Twitch stream yesterday where I did uh, RuneScape, which was really good fun, and a few people came along to that, which was quite nice, and... Honestly, it was a little bit strange getting, you know, recorded live because I, I mess up with the English language more times than I like to admit, even though it is my first language. So that was a little bit weird, but overall it was good fun. So I'd really like to play some other games and my computer's not strong enough to play every game under the planet, but um, it certainly is going to be good enough to play some games on lower specs. and. What I'm thinking of doing is a little bit more World of Tanks. I want to do a little bit of a game called Banished. It's not a very popular game, but I'd like to do a few games of that. Possibly even a playthrough. And as well as that, I would like to do a few other games. I'm not sure what yet. Um, possibly The Binding of Isaac. And I possibly would like to do maybe World of Tanks Generals, that might be quite fun. Might give me a bit of time as well to talk about the history, so 
you know, maybe on some of the ones where the history is not so in depth, the ones that are blueprinted, I might do that for World of Tanks generals. So, really want to get your feedback on those ideas, really want to hear what you think. And yeah, please do let me know, don't stay silent. There's only um, a handful of you at the moment, so it would be really great to hear what you think, what's going on. And I know one of the things that's been called for a lot is only my good games are going out. And, you know, this this game's going to put that one to rest. But uh, I do want to change that a little bit. Um, what I will be doing is perhaps some fail videos. Uh, I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do with the fail videos. I don't know if I want to try and keep them a little bit lighter than I did last time. Or if I'm going to try and... Um, keep them at that same pissed off level. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. Thoughts would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, that's my plans at the moment. Uh, if anyone's got any thoughts at all, shit being shot at. If anyone's got any thoughts about those at all, I would love to hear them. Really would. And yeah, that's about my plan at the moment. And unfortunately, it looks like this game might go down the toilet. There's that panzer, let's see if I can get him. Got him. T67 is the problem now. He did have a... He's got a good position to shoot at me. Um, he has, however, got 22 seconds on the clock, so he shouldn't be too much of a problem at the moment. If we can kill that enemy T67 and then get the T67 in cap. Or I've got a shot at that T67 now. Which is going to put a little bit more pressure on him. He's going to try and get out of the way of my gun. Which he's not going to do. And then the T67 is the last one. Rush down into there and try and take him out. Someone else is probably going to do it before I can, but that's the theory anyway. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll end it as soon as he dies. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.